Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft on the Block. This is the uh, Desi TM server mini-series. And I have done a lot of work since last time we spoke. And what I wanted to do, I have to put a few finishing touches on the roof, so I thought I would go do that while you guys watch and I can talk a little bit about some of my plans. So you can see I actually, this would be a good way to show the pool. So I've got kind of a, an, imp an infinity pool type thing going here. Um, I've buried lights, so I have like in, in, in pool lighting, <laughs> and it took a little while to figure out how to get a pool that deep to be consistent. I, I, I knew how to do it, I just didn't realize that I knew how to do it, so anyway, you just basically have to make it one layer deep. I just put, I just put a dirt in there, and then you, you fill the whole thing, and then you dig out the bottom, and when you dig out the bottom... You, uh, you end up with the water just going down so you don't have to worry about it. And then you get kind of the infinity pool effect where it just rolls off into the ocean. And did a little work on the beach as well. So we'll go look at all that. Um, so I was going to, let's see. Oops. What's well, the easiest way to do this? Yeah. So I, I'm really trying to give a little definition. Whenever you get a house or, or a, any sort of a structure that's this big, I guess we better be nice and we should say hello at least. All right. So whenever you get a structure this big and just kind of blocky, you have to be really careful um, about putting, uh, putting some details on it to give it a little bit of depth. And, and you know, especially you have a big flat wall, it's nice to put some uh, detailing on the corners or give some relief. So that's the kind of thing I'm working on. Um, this, I, I really like this effect. A lot of times I would put like a full block coming off the end here, but I'll show you why I like this. We'll go take a look. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm just trying to get some details. You can see that I have my, uh, my floating library right there. We'll go take a look at that as well. And a lot of stuff. I've done a lot of work and I figured I better, uh, I better come and show it before before it all gets blown up. I'll probably end up getting hit by a creeper. So I'm, I'm growing a lot of reeds so that I can start making some uh, bookshelves and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to make that floating library my actual like enchanting library, but I am definitely going to um, put some bookshelves up there, just at least a couple. I'm going to make it kind of minimalist. It'll just be like a little sitting area, reading area. But yeah, you can see that this is the this is going to be the fire pit, and you can look out over the pool and got that big window, which is awesome for sunrises. And let's see what else. Did a little bit of work here. I moved the door over here, and I'm going to start working on the on the uh, the deck here eventually. Um, you can actually access this stair from either here or down there. So if you access it from here, it takes you up. And I will have to step back and look at this. I don't. I don't love it. I, I I'm very picky about. I would. I haven't ever found a real star, a good spiral staircase design that I love. But this one's okay, especially since we gave ourselves such a big room. So this is going to be the the floating kind of library. I'll probably put a table and a little sitting area and you know whatever. I'm not sure some some bookshelves. I was thinking about kind of maybe putting some bookshelves up there, but I don't I don't think I'm going to like that. So probably put a couple of bookcases around and a little table and just kind of. Make it a little minimalist and put a little lamp or something, and I'm not sure. So anyway, I like this. Um, obviously a pretty nice view, so let's go check out the window design. Um, yeah, and because of all the fence that I used and stuff, it gets a little catchy if you're not careful. But So yeah, so this is the final, probably the semi-final design, so you can see the window design is is a little bit different than what I had planned on originally. I don't know if I described that, but... There's the spiral stair. It's not horrible. I've seen worse. I've made worse, but yeah, it's it's okay. In a big room like this, it ends up looking all right. So yeah, so this is kind of we roll out up onto here and and uh, put some in ground lighting here too. It doesn't have a huge effect. It does light it up a little bit, but just thought that would be kind of cool. And then got my uh, my light post posts. Um, yeah, so uh, gamer. DTT, is that right? Yeah, Gamer DTT. I can I never remember if it's CTT or DTT. He's been following me for a long time and always has a lot of great comments. He was um, suggesting maybe put a lighthouse out there. I really like the lighthouse idea. I think what I'll do, since, since see over there, that's like the natural place for an actual lighthouse because there's kind of some buried 
stuff under the water. I think I'll probably end up putting like I, I may even build like a big rock um, outcropping or something. I might have to put a lot of cobble, but I might dig basically build an island underneath the sea there that comes up and then put a lighthouse out there. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But anyway, so that's that's that. So yeah, you can see that already. I think that that adds a lot of just kind of depth. Um, to the roof line and then I'll probably I don't know I don't know what else I'm going to do but the the things were like the side of the house right here you can see this is just a big flat area I'll probably try to add some sort of relief that is one of the things I really like I always say that I miss something about Technipack I really like the Red Power 2 stuff the ability to chop blocks down and make you know a lot smaller um, little pieces of detail but anyway so this is you know this side is just I don't love it. This is probably my least favorite angle for the house, but, and I might do a little kind of overhang here, some gables or something. So, um, you can see right there, that's going to be the uh, entrance to my cellar slash mine. There's another entrance inside right under the stairs. And I'm kind of just blathering. Really, I just wanted to do more of a tour than anything. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do about this to leave it open, and, and really I don't have any problem leaving it open except that I don't want mobs getting in, obviously, and you know you want to feel safe. Um, I think what I, my my experience has been generally that if you do a good job fencing off like that, I mean mobs can swim and they'll come out, and you know it's it's possible that you end up with some in here, but I you know I don't know I may try to just leave it open. I really do like it this way. Um, I'm going to extend the beach out so that it's it's probably it'll have more shoreline beach area probably going out that way although probably skip a little bit right here where the pool is and make this a little waiting area and then I'll make the waiting area extend out quite a ways so it looks a little cooler and then probably one of the next things I'm going to work on is digging my my underground trench that's going to go to a uh, like a little living room area that's underwater out there so I don't know how deep it gets how fast I think it gets pretty deep pretty quick yeah you can see that we're just going straight down. so it'll probably be somewhere around here and we'll do that um, let's see, what else? I'm not sure if there's anything else that I wanted to show this time. Let's, let's go take a look at the house and see what it's looking like from a little ways off. I have been, I mean, I really do, I think I've said this before probably a hundred times, one of the things I really like about builds like this in Minecraft are, um, yeah, see, it's stinking sheep. He's probably going to be trampling my, you might have to be put down, Mr. Sheep. Let's go get him. Um, one of the things I really do like about about Minecraft is the uh, the logistical issues. You know, I mean, there's a lot. Yeah, see, he trampled some of this already, I think. I don't think I have any seeds. I guess we can get some real quick. Yeah, the logistical issues. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked already. Ah, oh, crud. Wouldn't you know it. <laughs> I'm always just full of junk. Now yeah, that pickaxe can go. All right, let's do this. Um, you know, figuring out how to get this much stone and... and uh, Dang it, I'm not quite there yet. This much stone. What else am I trying to say? And this much um, sand and all that stuff and smelting it down. And, and really, it's amazing how much... Um, it's amazing how much coal it takes. Coal is one of those things that you kind of take for granted. Well, sometimes. I, I used to take for granted having plenty of it um, at all times, and you just don't. It's one of those things that if you're doing a lot of smelting, it goes really quickly. It's also a good reason to use lava, but anyway, I've got a chicken coop, so I'm going to try to take care of these guys. Um, let's go take a look. I got a little sidetracked there. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, yeah, the logistical part of it is something I love, so I'm going to have to get a rail system going. Um, I'm thinking about building a barn. Um, I, I'm probably going to treat this a little bit differently. I've kind of decided that um, instead of trying to, I probably won't have a corral for like cattle and stuff. I'll probably try to lead a bunch of cattle over here um, and, and just let them kind of free range. I might try to fence, do a big kind of outer fence um, just for looks, but I, I'm not going to try to, you know, I'll just leave sheep mostly. I'll probably let those sheep go. I'll probably just have sheep mostly roaming around. And I may even color some of them and just kind of go out and, you know, do some harvesting when I need it. So, yeah, I'm not going to do, I think I'm going to make this more like just a, a free range kind of cattle ranch uh, as opposed to a really organized ranch. But, yeah, I kind of like that window. I wasn't sure. I'm going to probably put a couple more windows in here to break up the, the sides. I, I really like having a lot of windows in houses. I think it helps to kind of break up the 
the walls and give a, a little bit better look in the architecture, but it also makes them a lot lighter inside and just kind of more fun. So yeah, it's coming along. Um, I've been rambling long enough. I think what I might do, um, I was going to, I was going to do a little bit of work kind of cleaning up the pool area and the beach. So what I might do is since I have about three minutes, 45 seconds left and I'm just wasting your time at this point, blathering on, what I might do is go finish the beach a little bit and uh, come back and finish up the video and show you guys kind of the work that I've done. But yeah, so that's where we're at. It's coming along. I really like it. If you get a ways off, we'll, maybe we'll do that at the end too. We'll swim away from the beach and look at it from the other side. But yeah, it's starting to look pretty cool. So I'm definitely happy with it. Um, happier than I thought I was going to be. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll go do a little bit of work on the beach and then we'll come back and, and we'll finish up by looking at that. And uh, I'll talk to you in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back. You may wonder why I am wandering around out in the middle of nowhere with no clothes and no <sighs> and no purpose. And it is because I hope I am getting close to home. That's the reason I've restarted the video. Um, I died. And the way that I died was I was building. So I was working on the beach like I was saying I was going to do. And then I was uh, building the underwater observatory room, like I said I was going to do. And while I was building the underwater observatory room, um, I went <coughs> on the top to do a little work on uh, digging out. So I had I had basically carved out a little bubble. I, I took the uh, the approach of basically like blowing up a balloon inside of or blowing up a balloon and covering it with like chocolate or something and then you remove the chocolate and you've got a chocolate balloon like they do when they're baking stuff. Well, I uh, went underwater, carved out a bunch of um, a big room and then put glass on the uh, inside of the room on the ceiling and then I went and dug from the top to try and uh, there it is. There's home. I've been wandering around literally for like an hour and a half trying to find home. And I finally found it. That is huge. I was getting ready to give up. I was going to kind of give up on the whole thing. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, I'll show you what I did. Um, I, like I said, I dug around the top. Or, or dug around the, uh, the inside. And then I was digging on the top. And I drowned. And the way I drowned was it, apparently the... The... Uh, swimming, I guess, in multiplayer is just a little bit off. It's when once you start getting hurt, it, it's fine once you're when you're when you've got air. But once you start getting hurt from not having air, when you, it's like it stops swimming up every time you take one of the the hits. So every time there's a tick and you take one of the the life hits, it stops um, stops swimming. And I wasn't able to make it up. I had done it a couple of times. You can see that I got almost all of it. So wait a minute. It's not possible that my stuff is still down here, is it? Oh, it might be. My stuff might be down there. Let me go get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, you can see I'm almost out of food. All right, so we got about 30 seconds left. Let's do this real quick. I'm going to go see if my stuff is down there. I totally did not expect. I've been wandering around for so long that I did not expect any of my stuff to be there. But it could be that it is. So let's go check it out. Anyway, so... I was trying to dig that out and I just, I, I was literally like inches from the, from the, uh, surface and took the last heart hit. And the, the biggest problem was that I had just moved my bed. Oh, and I even get my levels back. Is that the way this works? I had just, oh, there's my iron. Nice. So my stuff is here. That's wild. Oh crap. This, oh no. See how it, it just doesn't go up very fast? Oh, that would have been ridiculous. I almost died again. <laughs> right. So let's go do this. Let's go sleep real quick. I'm assuming, well, I really want to get my stuff before I sleep. I can't believe it's there. I thought it would be gone for sure. Okay. It looks like we're way over time. I'll start this back up on the next one. And anyway, I'll explain what happened then. 
Okay, I'm back. Um, I actually had a couple of extra seconds, so I wanted to, to explain this. Um, it, it's either that I had just moved my bed. I had actually moved it from over here because I was digging. I don't know if you guys remember. It was right there, and I moved it over here. And one of two things happened. Either it was because there wasn't enough room for me to spawn right here on top of my bed, or it was because I moved the bed, and when you move it, it loses its spawn point. But anyway, I got a couple of my, my things back. I got my sword and some some other stuff but there's a lot of stuff still down there either that or it's gone now so anyway thanks for watching i'll uh i'll try to get some stuff back and, and we'll get going again but anyway i just wanted to explain before i left you guys hanging i'll talk to you soon